welcome back. Or, if you are new, welcome. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. How is my face broken out this badly in the space of a couple of days? We're going to move past it because today we're going to do a very full coverage look. So I've decided as another instalment, <laughs> another video idea for the 12 days of Halloween. Well, I found it on Pinterest, same as everything else ever that I film. <laughs> found this look and it's like a is it like a botched surgery or is it just like plastic surgery like when you have loads of it and it's like but yes i'm gonna call it the botched plastic surgery look i think that is what it is i'm overthinking it <laughs> but we're gonna get on with it because i don't want to be looking at this anymore so i guarantee neither do you let's get on with it shall we first of all we're gonna use the smashbox photo finish foundation primer just because it makes me very very matte use this in the t-zone now for foundation, I'm going to use the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation from Maybelline in the shade 21 Nude. Ow. As always, blend it out with a brush. Okay, now for concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer in the shade Film. I'm not going to bother too much about covering up my under eyes. I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm not going to do any on the nose because that's going to be covered. But I am going to get rid of my blemishes. I've got so many. Blend it with a brush. Okay, now we're going to powder the face. I'm using the RC Mano Colour Powder. I'm just going to use a big floofy brush and just pack it all over the face. Now I'm going to contour my face. I've got this brush. Also going to do the cheekbone. So I'm going to put it up a bit higher than my actual cheekbone. I'm also going to put it here where, on like the temples just to like kind of help with the lifting of the face. Gonna bronze the face. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer just at the back of the face. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the brows. I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow pencil from Benefit and just sculpt them out. I am gonna make them more defined than usual. Well, I'm gonna try to. Okay, they're looking very intense right now, but with everything else we're putting on the face, they won't later on, trust me. <laughs> For eyes, I'm first going to go into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm going to take all five of these on just like an eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pop it in the crease, but we're going to bring it all the way up here. Just to really lift the eye like it to an extreme. Okay, now I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to mix this one with a bit of this here. I'm going to keep this one on the outer part of the eye and up again. Now I'm just going to take my finger. Any one will do. But I'm going to take this one. <laughs> I'm going to take it into this colour here. And just lay it on the inner two thirds of the eye, I'd say. Blend it out a bit with the brush. Now we are going to go in with some liquid eyeliner. We're going to do like a wing and follow that kind of the lift thing we did. I'll do one eye and come back and show you just because then it's easier to explain. Just a, a wing like that, I guess. Nothing too extreme, but at the same time, we want it to be kind of visible so that it really like creates some sort of lift. I went into the inner corner with the eyeliner as well and did kind of like a little point, nothing too extreme, just to make it so the eyes are more like, whoosh. do you know what I mean? Okay, now I'm gonna stick on some falsies. I do this every time and I really do apologize, but I don't know where they're from. Well, I know where they're from, they're from Amazon. I don't know the brand though, but these are them. They've got some like leftover glue on them, so don't judge me, but they look like that. Oh, geez, Louise. Oh my days. Anyways, you get the gist. And the glue I'm going to be using is the Real False Lashes Invisible Lash Glue from Benefit. I really need to get myself some duo glue, don't I? But until then, this will do just fine. Okay, whilst we're waiting for the glue to go dry, like go tacky on the lashes, we're going to start with the bruising under the eyes from our nose job. So we're going to go into the James Charles palette. It works, do you know what I mean? I'm going to take this brush just because it's already got some like pink and stuff on it. I'm going to go into this colour here and this one here just to start. I'm a bit scared, you know. I just put it straight on the under eye. Oh, that's very pink, isn't it? Oh well. We're going to do the same on the other eye, just to balance them out, even though we did make a mistake. Again, the dog's going nuts. We're going to bring this all the way in here as well, just because, you know, it wouldn't just be all glam, like 
they could do in your under eye makeup, which we are, but we're going to deepen it out with some black. Go between the black and this purple here and add that to the same place. I'm going to bring it down quite far. This looks absolutely horrendous. I do apologise. Just taking some like dark brown, put right on the lower left line and smoke it down. Go into some purple, just go over the area. Okay, now we're going to take another brush. This one's got a bit of blue on it, but I don't think it really matters. We're going to go into this yellow here first. We're going to go on the out side of it, as if, you know, we're healing after our surgery. <laughs> going to kind of go into the purple as well, just to blend it. This is why I didn't bother covering up my under eye bags. Let's attempt to stick on these lashes. I know this looks horrendous right now. I do apologise. I'm going to stick on my lashes and I'll come right back. Okay, this eyelash is really doing my head in. I can't stick down that little, like bit there. We're just gonna move on because I've spent ages trying to now. So I'm gonna put a plaster over my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna pop it just over here and then with the brush that I was using for the bruising I'm just gonna use whatever's left on the brush and go above it. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. We'll add all the blood and stuff later on because for right now we're gonna start doing all the lines and dots and stuff. We're gonna do one here I don't know what any of these lines mean though. <laughs> Should probably know that, shouldn't I, since I'm drawing them on my face, but oh well. Also, this is a uh, eyeliner pencil from e.l.f. and it's a dark brown one. I don't know what I've done with my black one, so we're using dark brown. We're gonna do an arrow right here, and another one next to it, to show that we want it to lift. And do the same on this side. Then we're gonna do some X's along the top, and then two down here. I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> Why is there X's? I've seen so many of them all over like TikTok and everything like that right now. I was like, oh, maybe that could be fun to do. <laughs> maybe. We're gonna do cross here and across here. And then see on this side. I am gonna put an arrow here and an arrow there to show we want that lifted. <laughs> then we're gonna do a dotted line around the chin. I'm going to do a line down the middle and then two arrows. I'm going to do lines down my smile lines. I'm going to do an arrow here Drop the light. Now I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to go by here I feel like I went a bit high with the bruising on the eyes. Do you mind? Why are you acting up today? I've put some lip balm on because now we're going to do some lip liner. This is the Obsession Lip Liner in the shade Hooker. I'm using the dark brown because I need to really overline my lips. I'm going to make sure that they're super overlined. Kind of fill them in a little bit. Okay, now I'm just filling in my lips with this pink lip liner from Primark. Just filling in the entire lip area. First I'm going to grab the brush from the one that we used for the under eyes. And just kind of add some bruising around here. Now we're going to take some fake blood. Trigger warning. It's at the start of the video, but at the same time, I will warn you up until the moment I put it on. <laughs> my last video that I used this in, which was the Purge one, links in the description. I thought that this was going to be runny, and it's not. And it was a bit of an awkward moment when I found that out on camera. I'm going to put a little brush into the fake blood and I'm going to paint it on underneath here first. I'm going to also add it to the nostrils. Oh, this tickles. This tickles. Oh no. I'm going to take some now and I'm going to draw it. I have loads left on like the top of the brush, so I'm just going to run this underneath here and just hope that it just like adds a bit of something something do you know what i mean i'm also going to get it a bit on the plaster okay i'm just going to take a pencil brush and take a bit of black eyeshadow and i'm going to dab this over the blood and the nostrils <laughs> and add a bit just to like just to where the plaster starts and here is <laughs> the finished look i guess this is I mean, like, it's fun if you would, I feel like if you were to go as, like, a couple with someone and someone else was the surgeon and you're, like, the patient after having surgery, I feel like it would look quite good. Imagine if, like, you've got, like, bandages on and stuff like that. 
that's all I can say on this. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you did, I would love it if you would subscribe, join along on this 12 days of Halloween stuff that I'm doing. There's going to be many hit and many messes. Probably many, 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 many more messes than hits, but it's fun. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's an idea. You've probably all got better skills than I do when it comes to this stuff, so, you know, have some fun with it. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. This blood stains, and now I'm gonna have a bloody nose all day. <laughs>